yeah hello guys welcome to forex success so guys in this video i'm gonna show you how you can trade synthetic indices on a long term yeah for a long term purpose okay we know we have different type of traders we have the scalpers the day traders and then the swing traders of course so for scalpers they trade on 15 minutes 5 minutes 30 minutes one hour and up to four hour time frame scalping the get in and out of the market as you all know then the day trader they trade for the four hours the eight hours and also up to the 24 hours for day traders then the swing traders they trade 24 hours the 48 hours the week and also for months yeah so those are the swing traders so guys you can also trade on synthetic indices that way as you all know synthetic indices it's very volatile it is very volatile very very volatile therefore since it's volatile therefore the market can beat it can beat it can go against price action it can go against your analysis of course your price action analysis it can go against it and thereby it might return but before then it should have kicked off your stop loss that is another thing you have to face on it okay take for instance i'm gonna show you this as an example take for instance you're watching this market you're watching this you can see this is vic 75 index the daily time frame seeing this market came down forming a tv bearish candle this is a a morning star which indicates a reversal for this so you saw this morning star closed like this and then you're looking out for a buy you're looking out for a buy at this point of course you're looking out for a buy at this point then after this candle closed it opened at this point you placed a buy after getting a good entry from your 15 slash 5 minutes or 30 minute time frame you get an entry and then placing your stop loss below this week of course below the previous week or below this previous week guys seeing the market all of a sudden it moved down a massive down hit your stop loss and then continue the uptrend you can see that it actually was going according to your to your analysis but unnecessary movement to hit the stop loss you can see that is that is a problem you're asked to face trading synthetic indices especially the volatile ones like the v75 and also the crash and booms look at it it hits the stop loss and then continue the trend so it's actually a good idea a great idea to trade swing trading on a long term purpose cause especially for those of you who won't, won't have time to always sit in front of your system and play trades and seriously it is right that trading is not supposed to be stressful no it's not supposed to be stressful you're supposed to enjoy trading of course you're not supposed to the market is not supposed to stress you you're supposed to stress the market yeah so you can place a trade here after getting good confirmations like at the end of this candle placing your stop loss at the end of the week the week this is a week the you can see this line at this candle it is a week because the market moved up to this point and came down again so that line is a week so you can place your stop loss at the top of this week and then the market moves down also getting good confirmations from a bigger time frame like the weekly time frame as well so the daily time frame guys that this is the daily time frame you can see for volatility 75 index i think i'm gonna be getting into this trade i can see an uptrend right here I'm seeing an uptrend right here and i'm seeing that v75 was unable to break this trend line yeah guys let me set put this trend line there there was a trend line right here joining this and this together yeah guys there was a trend line right here and v75 couldn't break through that trend line of course so i'm gonna be placing a buy for v75 index to tp at this zone you can see at this previous resistance zone of course so guys i'm gonna show you 
going to show you some technical analysis tips that you can use to make money for yourself as well so guys if you're not if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up so you can get more information from us of course so this is a trend line and this is a trend line guys i hope you all know what trend lines mean trend line is is used to to analyze the trend of a market thereby putting at least a trend line has to touch two week that is um two support level that is like this so at least two or more support level this is the first one and then the second one so this is a trend line you can also form it to a china but right now we got a trend line and you can see the market came down but unable to break through this um trend line as well so i'm placing the buy and the stop loss will be below below the trend line of course below this trend line and this is another strong support level this is another strong support level as well yeah this is the strong support level as well also rejecting this market to the back side so this would be a very perfect stop loss for this market you can see it's moving back to the upside fix 75 in this placing trades on a long term you can place a stop loss and then leave the market to move leave the market to move this in this way you won't have to sit in front of the computer every minute you just come observe the market see how it's going drop it again and then continue that's it that's it that's trading for you checking it from the four hour time frame from the four hour time frame you can see it's moving to the upside as well look at the same respecting the same support level that is pushing this market back to the upside as well you can see that so i'm seeing this at five to move to the upside then the major thing i want to talk to you about is the boom 1000 index guys please stay tuned for this video so this is boom 1000 index i've already gone, done my analysis right here boom 1000 index the four hour time frame and as well as the the daily time frame so this is the trade i'm taking as well so i'm taking boom 1000 index on the buy on the buy that is buying boom 1000 index right here i already placed the trade to buy and then to tp at this zone you can see this um resistant zone right here that's where i'm gonna take profit why my stop loss will be at this week yeah this is the week at the 12,800 level which is below this week so i'm seeing it to buy thereby a rejection i can see this strong rejection of price at this zone this long week that this bearish candle is holding that for the previous day i'm seeing the rejection so i'm seeing this it couldn't break through this um, support level so i'm seeing the market to move back to the upside guys if this analysis was on the system you would have um, understood it better but analysis is already done so i'm just showing it to you via my mobile okay i'm seeing it to go to the upside and stop loss right here below this point so guys i'm gonna show you how you can calculate the stop loss and tp level so that you know how much you are risking and how much you are gaining this is very important so that for in case you want to trade like this i'm just saying in case you want to trade like this and then you don't you and you want to risk a certain amount of funds a certain amount from your balance you will know how much you are risking so let's assume for me look at it okay let's say for me now that i am i place the trade right here and then i'm keeping my stop loss at this level 12,800 just then shifted 12,800 yeah so the 12,800 level that is my stop loss so how much am i risking from this 12,992 to 12,800 that is what we'll be calculating and how much am i going to gain if the trade hits my tp level which is 13,620 
So the trade is on 12,992 and then stop loss on 12,800. So what is um, the how much am I risking right now? That is what I will show you how to calculate. Okay, this is 12,992. If you subtract 12,992 from 12,800, that is 192. So you simply go to your PIPS calculator. Go to your PIPS calculator website. Click on this PIPS calculator for derive. Okay. Let's search for it. Pips calculator for Derive. You go for it and then you open it. Remember, it's 192 movements of Pips. Yeah. Then you come here, you select the boom 1000 needles volume. Remember, that is the lot size. Let's say for 0 0.2, if you are using a 0 0.2 lot size, then the point value is on what? 192 remember as we calculated it you calculate this is it 38.4 dollars 38.4 usd dollar is what i'm risking right here so if the trade hits my stop loss i've risked i've lost 38 us dollars but if it comes to my take profit this is from 1290 12.99 let's just call this thirteen thousand, guys let's call it thirteen thousand. yeah so thirteen thousand to thirteen thousand six thirty that is if you subtract thirteen thousand from thirteen thousand six thirty it's six thirty so six thirty now is now our point value that's the movement in point six thirty and then we calculate with same lot size boom one thousand one hundred and twenty six so we are risking $126. We are risking $38 to gain $136. Or is it $136 to $126? That was like a one ratio, three, three ratio, one risk slash reward ratio. One ratio, three. Yeah. So we are risking one to gain three, of course. So that's how you can trade. So whichever one hits the target we are good to go so i want to check out for any other analysis let's see boom jump in this 100 in this starting from the daily time frame okay this is also a very good entry at this point guys at this point it's a very good entry than the weekly time frame i'm not getting any good confirmation there then crash one five hundred in this. It's on a downtrend, a downtrend daily time frame. I think it's gonna buy weekly. No good confirmation as well. So um, let's see fix fifty in this. This fifty in this. The daily time frame. It's buying daily time frame. It's buying, and this is a very strong resistant level. There has been a lot of rejection of the market at this zone, as this resistance zone. Yeah, there's been a lot of rejection on that zone. Of course, guys, I'm seeing this as a sell. Volatility fifty in this. Yeah, I'm seeing it as a sell came down and again again i'm seeing this price to move to the downside of course keeping the stop loss above this previous week like yeah keeping stop loss there one nine six so guys we're going to calculate how much we're going to be risking for this trade but before then i'm going to check out the weekly time frame Weekly time frame seeing a lot of condition that the market is gonna the weekly is showing that this market is gonna buy considering this morning star candlestick pattern which indicates a buy it indicates a buy of course so it might move to the upside 
weekly time frame and daily time frame is giving us a sell you can see so the market can be confusing sometimes what you do best to do is to avoid such market that is that a different time frame are pointing on different direction you just avoid it guys you just avoid it and wait for good confirmation so probably when both the weekly and the daily are pointing on the same direction then you can place your trade let's see step in this step in this it's step in this is a very consolidating market you can trade step in this and then you see your your trade on like 200 dollars profit and then you just leave it there since it's continuing before you know you can see it on 20 dollar profit so seven days is a very consolidating market you can move all here today and then come back again so it is a nice market though it's a nice um it's a nice asset to trade of course so stepping this is selling right now you can see what this is what i'm talking about guys so let's say you can place this trade and then say you are seeing a hundred dollar profit you can move back again even enter the loss but you need to be really patient and your stop loss needs to be very far on stepping this otherwise it will hit your stop loss and continue to your direction that is tips guys you need to understand about stepping this stepping this I'm looking at stepping this to sell to this point of course seeing the weekly time frame is on a heavy downtrend seeing this was a a pullback the market came back for a retest which is likely expected to sell back to the downside seeing the daily time frame move to the upside this is a a resistant level that couldn't break through so it's coming down since stepping there is to hit this tp level this um support level but the thing is right here you need to have a stop loss in case it decides to return back to the upside of course and as you can see it is on the four hour time frame it is very close to a resistance a support level so you just have to be patient with stepping this to go for a pullback before you can enter to eat profit to the downside of course so yeah guys thanks for watching forex success make sure you hit the red subscribe button and click on the link at the below click, click on the link at the description below to open an account on there so you can start trading synthetic indices